new nail polish that I bought yesterday that I'm very excited about. I have it on as we speak. It's kind of like, I don't know, a pewter brown. It's one of the Chanel nail colors, number 525 Quartz. It is brand new. It's part of the current summer collection. I don't really buy the Chanel polishes. I'm an OP girl. OPI, however you want to go with that. But I saw this yesterday when I was there and I thought it was really pretty and I tested it out on my thumb and fell in love with it. You can't tell from this video, but in addition to the pretty color, it has all these tiny little flecks of glitter in it. There's like teal and gold and they're really small and subtle and you can only see it when you're like in bright light or out in the sun. That just gives it a really nice extra quality to it. So I'm happy to have that. But the main thing that I'm reviewing today are concealers, face powders, all that face stuff that you have to put on for the base really. My first thing that I'm reviewing, this is not a new product, but they sell it at Sephora and at Ulta. It's Confessions of a Concealaholic by Benefit, and it is one of my favorite items. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's this cute little book. It opens up. It has a little book that tells you about the products and how to use them. And that's what the, the inside looks like. And I'm covering up here, but there's a mirror which is convenient. Inside the book shows you how to use and where to put the products just to help you out if you don't already know. The first thing in it is a race paste, which I'm a big fan of. Um, it comes with a little brush for everything. And it's just a really small jar, but I've been using it a long time and that's all I've used, which isn't very much. And you just kind of put a few little dots beneath your eye and then you just blend them and gets rid of dark circles. I don't have this on today. I actually have a different under eye circle that I'm going to talk about, but this is a good one and I do use it and I do like it a lot. And the other product they give you, it's a concealer, it's boing. I'm just going to show you this instead of the actual, but they give you a light and a dark. And basically with your brush, you just dab in each one and that way you can control how dark or how light you need to fit your skin tone. So basically, it works for almost everyone, which is great. And then you just, you know, dab it wherever you have red spots, blend it a little bit, but you'll end up covering that with your foundation if you wear it. Um, you can blend it enough where you don't even have to wear foundation if you're careful so it doesn't look like you have a different, I mean, you're gonna match your skin color, but it can be worn alone. It covers the redness really well. Like I said, in my last video, I'm really red. I have a lot of it on right now and it's actually taken a lot of the red out of my face despite some of the red that you still see. Um, the other product, in here is Eye Bright, and that's this one right here, it's that little like lavender one, and that has a smaller brush. And then you just take that and get however much you want, and you basically do it on in the, right here by your nose, um, and around you know, the corner of the eye, and it brightens up your eye instead of putting, you know, white eyeshadow or whatever. I mean, you can do both and we'll help it stick, but this just makes your eyes look a little bit brighter, makes them pop helps if you're kind of sleepy. Then there's Lemonade, which is the yellow one right there. And what you do with that is you coat your entire eyelid. And if you have any redness up there or any veins or any imperfections whatsoever on your eyelid, it basically um, creates a base for your eyeshadow. It hides all of those imperfections and then it also works as an eyeshadow base to hold your eyeshadow in place, which is really nice. Um, it works very well. I do have that on today. I have everything in here on today except for the under eye erase paste. And I also don't have on that gel, which is the last product in here. That's a brightening face primer. You can use it everywhere. It just gives you a nice little bit of a pink hue. Um, it is a nice product, but I have to be careful with it because I already have so much pink in my face. But it is a nice highlighter. It works very well, and I do recommend that as well. This is basically my go-to kit. We have it's Satin Smoothing Fluid Makeup, and it has SPS 15 in it. It is... Chanel. They make a whole different line of colors. I use number 25 Soft Bisque. It comes in this nice little pump container. It's a good liquid. It's not too runny, but it's not too thick either. I usually just put some on the back of my hand. If I need more, I can add it, but I just do one pump. I usually end up using one and a half. And I use the Sephora Precision Sponge kind of scary and strange looking. I just finally, I've had it for a long time, but I've just started using it. You just kind of, you know, dab into your, and then, you know, you do this and you just dab all around. You don't 
rub, um, and you don't really have to get it any everywhere. Just with the dabbing, it actually evens out your skin really nice and applies good even coverage. I'm very excited about it, and I like it. Um, the other end that's you know smaller, you can use if you want to you know get under your eyes or somewhere more precise. And you can use this for other things, but I just use it for my foundation. But more Chanel. This one is Double Perfection Natural Matte Powder Makeup. It has SPF 10 in it, and I use number 110 Light Beige. Now mine's kind of a mess because I use it all the time. It comes with a little sponge right in here, which I've since thrown away because I got old. I have a new sponge. It doesn't really fit. That doesn't stop me. Um, it has a mirror, of course. Oh, it has a really satiny, smooth application to it. It doesn't dry out your skin, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot, and it helps really set the liquid foundation that I have um, on before it. You can wear this without the liquid foundation, that's not necessary at all. I, a lot of the time, do actually just wear this without the liquid. Um, and it's nice, and it, if you're in humid in the heat, like I'm in Florida, so it's very humid. The powder kind of helps absorb a little bit of that tart, dark circle of the fence. And with long-term use, it's supposed to actually decrease puffiness, not just hide it. I have it in fair light. I'm going to get it a couple different shades. And it comes with a brush as well. And you can see I've barely used any of it. You just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I usually just kind of dab my brush once or twice very lightly. And then you just, you know, work it around under there. And I usually have pretty bad dark circles. I don't know why. I get plenty of sleep. But you can see I'm pretty well covered up there. And it blends easily. Um, so I picked the lightest one. And it blends into my foundation absolutely no problem. You don't see a contrast. So I recommend that. That's really nice. It feels good too. It doesn't feel like you have anything on under your eyes, which I like. I hate feeling like I have a bunch of product on my face. Every time I do my makeup. Every time, even if I don't wear any foundation or powder or anything, I still use this um, Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder in Natural Translucent Number no. 2. There's a lot in there, it lasts a long time. Um, this is my favorite thing ever. It just helps set all of your makeup, your eyeliner, your eyeshadow, anything that you've put on. If you put this over it, it will help set it. Um, if you, even if you wear it alone with no makeup, that also helps really with the humidity and kind of absorbing and keeping you from getting all oily. It keeps your skin nice. It gets that shine to stay away. Um, I've had this for a long time, and like I said, I use it all the time. And I still have more than half left. So this is a really, it's expensive, but it's a really good investment because there's no way you're going to go through it very quickly. You're going to have it a long time. Right, a new gloss. It is by L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Le Gloss. Got this at Walmart with that other stuff that I already reviewed. This color is number 154 Watermelon Crush. I currently have that on. I think it has a nice subtle color. It's really glossy when you first put it on. It's smooth. It feels like it's hydrating your lips. However, the color fades a little bit. The gloss quickly goes away. The color lasts longer than the gloss part, and I feel like you have to keep reapplying it. Again, if you just want your lips to feel hydrated and have a smooth gloss that isn't sticky, this is good. Just don't expect your lips to stay fussy so long. I tried Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I guess this is supposed to look like a stiletto when you stand it this way. It's a cute package. It's a nice gimmick. The comparison of a stiletto and the long lash and it all sounds very nice and they sucked me in. Obviously my review is not very good. But the brush is kind of strange. don't really like it. It doesn't have any curve or anything. kind of makes me think of the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It's kind of raggedy and I don't know. They were spaced apart a lot so I kind of ho hoped that would help. And it kept the lashes okay but immediately all my lashes seemed to point in one random direction, and they were sticking together. It didn't give a whole lot of length. It definitely didn't give me any volume. Um, it kind of looked nice lower, like feathering on my lower lashes, but upper lashes are not that impressive. And you can see they're a little bit spider leggy in my opinion, which I absolutely hate. I even, the result I have right now, I used a comb to pull them apart, and I still look the way I do. So. I don't recommend this one. Stay away from it. I'm sad that I bought it, but I can warn you. 
so that is actually everything. I got through it pretty quickly.